Hi, in this video, we are going to go through recreating one of Amy Porterfield's pages in Kajabi. And I already recorded a video, I'll link below this one, to uh, recreating the first section and doing the header and footer and settings. So right now, we have a page that looks like this. I'll show you the preview. And let's see, I'll make myself small. Uh, so this is what our page looks like now. We just have this, um, this hero section, uh, similar to Amy's page. So this next section, freebies and resources, and I'll just talk you through kind of what I'm seeing and how I might create this page. Uh, so the background is just plain white. And then um, there are these graphics that uh, are kind of like bridging between these two sections, um, between the hero and this freebies section. Same thing down here, it's like connecting us to this next section about List Builder Society. So I think that those are graphics um, that are placed on, on the page rather than part of the background. Um, and then we these sections, you could recreate them using feature blocks in Kajabi, but I think that, I think I'm going to use um, text, image, call to action button, and another text block stacked on top of each other. So we'll give this a shot. We'll see what it looks like. So we're in Kajabi. I'm going to add a section and I always just use a custom section because I'm going to make it what I want anyway. So we'll add this custom section and first thing I want to rename it freebies and resources. That's what hers is called. So right now, I have the freebies and resources section, but there's no content in it. There are no blocks. First, I should add this freebies and resources um, title, add content, text. Okay, so I'm just making it a little bit bigger and I will want to center it. So I'm gonna go down to desktop layout and center. And I want this to be on its own line. So again, under desktop, I'm going to place this block on its own row or own row uh, so that it doesn't, it doesn't interfere with these other things. So you'll see on Amy's page here, let's refresh this because I want you to look at where it says freebies and resources. You're gonna see that there's this yellow line that appears across, that like goes across it. And I mean, there is a way you could like create a GIF or do some custom code or something. Um, that's a little bit more complicated. So I don't want to get into any of that. Uh, what you can do if you want to put a highlight behind this, um, you can do this with a little bit of just simple coding. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here I just have some code snippets that I use sometimes. And this one, in my highlight text code. And I can, I'll add this to the description in this video so you know how to do it. We'll go into freebies and resources. I'm going to open this up and then I'm gonna open up the source code. So this right now is telling us that um, freebies and resources is heading three as the font size. Uh, I'm going to paste in my code snippet. And so it's telling us here background color. Actually, I'll just close this so you can see what it looks like right now. It's got that this like beigey color behind um, where the words are. So we want it to be that gold color. So I'm gonna copy that and instead of this, delete that and add that in. And I just, it added another hash mark. So just make sure that there's only one. And then words go here, I'm gonna delete that and replace it with, Freebies and resources. So now I'm just gonna delete this one. I just wanna make sure that this text color is straight black. It looked a little bit gray. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't look exactly like hers, but it's you know it's close enough. We can maybe make it smaller. You know that was heading three, we'll make it let's say heading five. Okay, that's fine. And I'm gonna rename this a uh, title. Okay, so now we're going to create, and I'm just gonna create this whole number one section first. So 
I am going to add text where it says one there. And if you'll recall, the entire uh, page is going to be 12 columns wide. So um, in order to make these three sections, you can do four columns wide. Um, I think I'm going to try three, three columns wide just so that it is, it's not going the entire width of the page. I like to have my pages a little bit narrower. So we're going to see how that looks. So we'll do three. Okay, even when it's heading one, it's pretty tiny. So something that we can do is we can change the settings. I'm gonna go into settings of this page, style guide, and we can make it so that the heading one size on desktop is way bigger. <laughs> so instead of 48, we'll go to like 88. And I'm gonna save this. What that means is that since we're using heading one up here, it's gonna look way too big. So we can just squish this down to heading two. So that's better, it's bigger. And let's see, so under freebies and resources, and I'm going to rename this so I can keep track of what these sections are. And then we have this picture below it. Um, it's a tablet, like a flat lay with a, probably an, uh, a screenshot of the actual guide. So we'll create that in Canva. I'm going to create 500 by 500 pixel image. Okay, and then here you can look for like flat lay, flat lay with screen. Looks like I've already done that. Cool. <laughs> great. That's a great image. So we can then, um, because you want it to be your, you know, uh, freebie or whatever you are using here, whatever you're advertising here, you would want to just cover this up with a, a screenshot from your freebie. So I have this freebie here. I'm just going to screenshot it. And then go back in here and paste it into this tablet. And you can adjust here. You want to make it line up. Okay, that's good. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for this. Um, so I'll download this image as a JPEG. Back to Kajabi. Now I'm going to add an image block. And since this one is three and I want them stacked, I'm gonna make this one three also. And I'll, we'll adjust this in, in a minute. And the border radius is always four, which means that you can see that these, uh, the corners are slightly rounded. I just like to crisp them up a little bit. So I'll move it down to zero. And I'm also going to make it make flush. That means that it takes up the entire uh, the entire block. Okay, and then below it, she has this is her call to action button, um, which I'm guessing it's pretty tiny. Um, I mean, I guess that was deliberate. I would guess that all of these, like no matter where you click, it's going to go to the same. Yeah. Okay. So no matter where somebody clicks in any of these, it's going to open up the same page. It's, it's going to have the same action. So um, we will we'll add a button here, and then um, and then you would set up the action. I'm not going to do that because I'm not building a whole funnel, but I, I will just add this teeny little um, call to action button. And I know that this looks weird right now because they're going to be next to each other, but bear with me, and then I'll show you how we get them to stack. So I'm adding, so I added this call to action button. So she doesn't have any text there. She has that arrow emoji. So what we can do is let's see if I can find an arrow emoji. So I just Googled right arrow emoji. Okay, I just highlighted that emoji and I'm gonna pop it in here. Hers is black, so we're gonna change this to black button text color. And so radius, if you want to make this more of a circle, you're going to add a larger radius. So let's try like 20. And to make it to make it more circular, I'm going to change the button size to small. Okay, so that's good. That's fine. Okay. Oh yeah. And we're going to change this to three columns because we want these stacking. 
and then next we have these two text um, sections. We can we can put these both in one text block. Oh no, I was just going to copy that. That's not going to work. Okay, so we'll add one more text block below this. Text, three columns. Make this bigger, and so it's a three guide. And then we will change this to that um, one of those bright colors. And so let's make it bold. Change this to, let's say, heading four. Okay, close this. Then I'm gonna make this desktop layout centered. Okay, great. So again, now it looks weird because it's just going horizontally across. So what we're gonna do though is um, I'm going to rename each of these section one, so I know that this is the, the first one, and then we're going to duplicate each of these sections for two and three, and then I'll show you how to arrange them so that they're stacked the right way and the spacing works. Okay, so now we have all the elements that we need. Uh, we just need to rearrange them. And I'm not going to recreate each of these images and change the text. That's just something that's, it's not really, um, you can do that on your own time. Um, you, as long as you know, like how to create one, you can create the other ones. So what we want is we want the one, two, three to go across the top, um, just like this one, two, three. So these all have to be aligned. So where it says 01, I want 01, 02, and 03. <laughs> this can get a little bit confusing. Okay, so because these are each three, um, and then so is this image, this image is on that top row. So for now, I'm going to change these to four columns wide, just to bump down this one. And we might have to we might have to do some finagling. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so one, two, three is across the top. And then I want those images, same thing, lined up. But they're gonna have to be four also. So number one image, number two image, and number three image. Okay, so now everything's lined up right. Um, it's we're not done, but it's everything is in the right place. I should have just made them four columns from the start. That was I just um, created more work for myself. Um, okay, but we don't like these. There there needs to be some spacing, some padding between these images. So there are a few different things we could do. Um, like for one, I know that I made this flush. We can undo that. I also I want more. Though. I want more spacing between these. Um, so what you can do is add some inside spacing. Let's try 20. And then we would need to do the same thing with the other images. I'm going to preview it here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I want to pull these numbers down a little bit so that they are closer to the image. So let's go for one desktop layout. I'm going to do outside spacing negative uh, 30, let's say. No, more. Negative. Okay, so I tried negative 100. Let's try it.
Okay, so that was too much. <laughs> Negative 50. Okay, so that's good. Negative 50. That's the sweet spot. It's really, it's just, this is what I do. I just like play around with stuff until, until it looks right. Okay, same thing. We want to get these buttons up higher and I want them, ideally they would be like overlaid on top of this image a little bit because that's what Amy has. Half the button is on top of the image, half of it is below. So I'm going to do the same thing with my call to action buttons in Kajabi. Okay, so that squishes the images down a little bit, and then I want to move these buttons up a little bit. And outside spacing on the top, I'm going to do negative 50. Okay, so this is one thing that's pretty annoying about Kajabi, is that you can't choose which of these elements goes on top. There are, there's some nuance to it. You could like add an animation, but again, that's getting a little bit complicated and just not really worth it to me. So I am going to, um, I think that I, I removed the inside spacing on this, um, on this image, which is why this button now is going behind the image. These two are right below the image. That looks better. So I'm just going to add back that spacing. Okay, so now these are lined up, the button's in a good place. I wanna make just the text a little bit narrower. So I'm gonna add in these text blocks. I'm going to go into desktop layout and add some inside spacing. Let's add like 20, 20. Okay, so, and this I'm guessing is a GIF, um, again, that you can use um, a GIF, like make, make a GIF jiffy.com or something. Um, you can do that. You can play around with these images. Uh, I'm not going to spend some any time on that because it's not really worth it. Um, but this is looking good. It's looking close enough. You might make these fonts a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm just popping in here now. This is after the fact because I want to um, I want to change things a little bit in this section. So I added these gold circles or half circles up at the top and the bottom on the left. And I want to add one more on the right. Uh, I was going to make it part of the background, but I think that that is not a good idea. So I'm going to redo. I'm just going to add one more little circle, half circle over here. And the way that we're going to do that is here's the half circle that's got like the curved part on top. We're going to resize this so that we have the curved side on the left. Okay, so we're in Kajabi now and I'm just going to add content. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm actually going to put a spacer between these two. So they're each one column. So I'm going to add a spacer, custom code spacer of 10 columns, but put it between those two. Oh, this is two columns, nine columns. And then I just wanna pull this one up a little bit. So desktop layout, outside spacing, negative 50. Okay, and I want this, I want this, um, this circle over like all the way on the side. So what we can do is we're in the section, go to desktop layout, make section full width. Try that. So this is, this is more like what I wanted it to be looking like. Okay, so here's how it looks now. And it's, it's fine. It's fine the way it is. I mean, the, what, what they're what they're using here, like Amy's designers, is that they're using these same colors and elements in different places throughout the page to make it feel cohesive. So this gold color, and actually, I didn't even mean to do this, but this picture I grabbed, her pants are like right on brand with these other colors. So that's cool. 
Uh, but then like, that's what I'm seeing these, you know, the half moon here, these circular shapes here, they're the same colors. It's like tying it all together. So you might have to, you know, mess around with the spacing and padding and exactly the right um, size of everything. But that's what we're doing is trying to add some elements to the page and repeat them so that the page feels cohesive.